What's going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. Today I want to do some speculation. So far, through trailers and comments by Bungie staff, we have found out there will be at least 10 Year 1 exotic weapons that will be upgraded for Year 2. Once the Taken King is released, we will be able to go over to the Weapon Blueprint Kiosk and purchase any of these upgraded exotics Year 2 versions immediately, as long as you already have the Year 1 version. But, obviously, because purchasing these upgraded exotics will cost legendary marks, we won't be able to buy all of them immediately. So which ones should we prioritize? That's what I want to talk about today. I'm going to rank the top 5 Year 1 exotics that I believe will be worth purchasing first. Now, let's be frank, Update 2.0 is going to be released in a couple of days and the weapon rebalancing that is coming out in that patch, while documented, is still a bit of an unknown. My list does take into account the changes listed for this new sandbox, but until we actually start using these weapons, a lot of this is going to be speculation. Also, the new year 2 versions of these weapons are being changed. For instance, the Soros Regime will still have the Focus Fire perk, but in Year 2 it will add the Spinning Up perk and you will have the option to choose between the two. Some of these changes are known, others are not. So with that being said, let's get into it. Number 5 on my list is probably the most speculated about and the most likely to change. It's Thunderlord. The reason it made the list is because of this line of thought. We will somehow be able to switch what type of elemental damage this weapon has. If this is the case, it will suddenly become an amazing weapon. Well, it already is amazing. It's able to throw down massive amounts of damage at a very rapid pace, but it is no longer tied to just doing arc damage. Its utility goes way up. Next at number 4, I went with the 4th Horseman. This one is really going to depend on if you're primarily a PvP player or a PvE player. In PvE, this gun does massive damage very rapidly and is a blast to use. The upcoming range nerfs for shotguns should not really affect it and the damage nerf will affect it less than other shotguns, I believe because of its rapid fire capability. Even with the damage nerf, You'll be able to move in quickly, fire all five rounds, then back out to safety. For primarily PvP players, I think the Invective is going to be a better choice because it's got better range and its ability to regain ammo is really useful in PvP. For number three, I have selected the Suros Regime. I truly believe this gun is going to make a comeback. With the buff to auto rifles that's coming in an update 2.0 and perhaps more importantly, the nerfing of other weapons, I believe the Soros is going to become a real player again. And now being able to switch between more power and control with focus fire or faster fire speed with spinning up, we will really be able to tailor this gun to how we want to play. The Soros is definitely making a comeback. In the number two slot, I selected the Red Death. We don't know much about the year two version's perks yet, but if we base its future performance off its current performance and look at the nerfs that are happening to the Thorn and the Last Word, I believe the Red Death is going to be a top tier meta gun. But this is based on the Red Death remaining a two burst headshot kill. If that changes and there is evidence that it could, the Red Death will still be good, but I don't think it will reign supreme, and that's the only thing keeping it from being number one on my list. Finally, number one on my list is the Hawkmoon. Now, hand cannons are getting real nerfs in Update 2.0, hard ones. Range is being reduced, aim assist is being reduced, magazine size is getting reduced. These guns are getting hit hard, but Hawkmoon is still going to be boss. In Update 2.0, it's getting an additional two rounds in the mag, seemingly to counteract the broader nerfs to all hand cannons. It's still going to do massive damage because of luck in the chamber and holding aces, and we don't even know what the year two perks will look like. Look, 
Hawkmoon is a beast now in both PvP and in PvE, and this doesn't look like it will change in year two. In fact, I believe it will just further be separated from the rest of the hand cannons in Destiny. Thorn and the last word are getting hurt bad. Hawkmoon? Hawkmoon stays beast. So that's my list of the top five year one exotics to upgrade for year two. Let me know down in the comments which weapons you will be upgrading first. Don't forget to hit that like button if you liked the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.